Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Digital Logic Design. Today we will study how to construct Boolean functions using min terms or the max terms. Now we will start constructing a Boolean function using the min terms. If you have any truth table, then a Boolean function can be expressed algebraically from the given truth table by forming a min term of each combination of the variable that produces 1 in the function output and then taking or of all those terms. This means that in the given truth table you will have input and output variables then you have to look for the input binary combinations for which output is equal to 1. Then for these combination you have to form min terms and then finally add all these min terms and you will get a boolean function. Now in the given example you have the truth table for three variables and output function f1. You have to form the function using min terms. First of all, we will identify all those binary combinations of the input for which output function is equal to 1. So if you look at the table for combination 001, 100 and 111, the output function have a value of 1. Now corresponding to these combination, we will make the min terms like for 0, 0, 001 the min term will be x prime y prime z for 100 0, 0, the min term will be x y prime z prime and for 111 1, 1, the min term will be x y z now in the second step we will combine all these min terms using boolean addition or the or term so the f1 will be equal to sum of min terms or we can replace these min terms by their designation. So the f1 will be equal to sum of m1, m4 and m7. Now in the second example again we have a truth table for three variable and the output function is f2 and we have to make a boolean function using the min terms. Now again our first step is to identify all those binary combinations of the input for which output function is equal to 1. Now if you look at the table the binary combination 011, 101, 110 and for 111 the output function have a value of 1. Now for this binary combination we will make min terms. For 011 the min term will be x prime y z for 101 the min term will be x y prime z for 110 the min term will be x y z prime and for 111 the min term will be x y z now after forming these min terms we will make boolean equation which will be sum of these min term or we can also write this boolean equation as sum of designation of corresponding min terms and f2 will be equal to sum of m3, m5, m6 and m7. Now these examples demonstrate an important property of boolean algebra which says that any boolean function can be expressed as a sum of min terms where the term sum means boolean addition or the oring of the terms. Now we will study how to make a boolean function using max terms. Now the procedure for obtaining the product of max terms directly from the truth table is as follow. You have to make a max term for each combination of the variables that produces 0 in the function or the output. And then you have to combine all these max terms using the AND or Boolean multiplication. Now for the same function table f1 we have to make function which consists of max term. For this in the given truth table first we have to identify all those binary combination for which output function have a value of 0. Now if you look at the table first combination with 0 0 0 have a value of 0. Next combination is 0 1 0 then 0 1 1 then 1 0 1 and finally 1 1 0 all these combination have a function value of f1. So corresponding to these combination we will make max term. For 
0 0 0 the max term will be x plus 5 plus z for 0 1 0 the max term will be x plus y prime plus z then for 0 1 1 the max term will be x plus y prime plus z prime and then for 1 0 1 the max term will be x prime plus y plus z prime and finally for 1 1 0 the max term will be x prime plus y prime plus z now for the boolean function we will combine all these max terms using product term or and term so f1 will be equal to the product of all these max terms or we can replace these max terms with their corresponding designations so f1 will be equal to the product of capital m0 capital m2 capital m3 capital m5 and capital m6 now for the second example we will construct a function which will consist of max terms if we observe the given truth table we have to identify all those binary combinations for which output function have a value of 0 and you will find that for binary combination of 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and 1 0 0 the output variable have a function value of 0 now we will make max terms for this binary combination for binary value of 0 0 0 the max term will be x plus y plus z for binary combination of 0 0 1 the max term will be x plus y plus z prime and for 0 1 0 the max term will be x plus y prime plus z and finally for 1 0 0 the max term will be x prime plus y plus z now we will combine all these max terms by ending or using multiplication so we will have a function which will consist of product of max terms or we can replace these max terms with corresponding designations so f2 will be product of m0 m1 m2 and m4 now from this example we can demonstrate an important property of boolean algebra that any boolean function can be expressed as a product of max term where product mean ending or multiplication of terms now we will study how to find complement of a function which consists of either min terms or the max terms now continuing from the function f1 which was formed with the help of min terms and we will find its complement we know that a min terms give a value of 1 and a function which is made up of min terms will also give a value of 1 now in case of complement its output will be inverted and if we are finding complement of a function with the help of min terms so in the given truth table we will look for all those binary combination which gives an output of 0 and for all these binary combination we will make min terms like in the given example if you look at first binary combination which is 0 0 0 the output have a value of 0 next is 0 1 0 then 0 1 1 then 1 0 1 and finally the binary combination 1 1 0 have a output value of 0 now for all these binary combination we will make min terms for 0 0 0 the min term will be x prime y prime z prime then for 0 1 0 the min term will be x prime y z prime then for 0 1 1 the min term will be x prime y z then for 1 0 1 the min term will be x y prime z and for 1 1 0 the min term will be x y z prime now we will add all these min terms to form boolean function which will be equal to f1 prime this is because the function which consists of min terms gives a value of 1 but here we are mapping all those binary combination which gives a value of 0 so it will be equal to complement of the original function so the equation will be equal to f1 prime now if we take complement of f1 prime we will obtain the original function f1 
and further solving this with de morgan's law we will get the function f1 which will be equal to the product of the corresponding max terms or the product of the designations of the corresponding max terms and if you compare the result obtained with the case of in which we have make a boolean function using max term the result is same now for the second example in which output function is f2 we have to find complement where the function f2 consists of min terms which were mapping output 1 so the f2 prime will be a function of min terms which will map zeros of the output variable now if we look at the given truth table we will come to know that for the binary combinations of 000 001 010 and 100 the output function have a value of 0 so for all these binary combinations we will make min terms corresponding to 000 the min term will be x prime y prime z prime corresponding to 001 the min term will be x prime y prime z for 010 the min term will be x prime y z prime and for 100 the min term will be x y prime z prime now we will add all these min terms so we will have a function of f2 prime now if we take complement to the both side we will get function variable f2 now solving complement of sum of min terms using de morgan's law and using the rule that the complement of min term is equal to the max term we will get a equation which consists of product of max term or we can say that f2 will be equal to product of corresponding designation of max terms Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.